Hello and welcome to Sheriff Amenity and my presentation. Sport NEM for biological pest control of crane fly larvae and chafer grubs using beneficial nematodes. In the absence of chemicals, we will have to increasingly rely on a biological approach for pest control. Sport NEM entomopathogenic nematodes from Sheriff Amenity are an ideal alternative for the control of leather jackets and chafer grubs in lawns and sports turf without the use of chemicals. The leather jacket is the larval stage of the crane fly, also known as daddy long legs. They feed on the roots of grass, causing stress with yellowing and thinning of the sward. The damage to turf caused by the feeding activities of the leather jacket is further compounded by the attention these grubs get from feeding birds, badgers and other animals with often devastating results. The life cycle of the crane fly involves the adults emerging in the late summer to early autumn to mate. The female lays a large number of eggs in grassy places. The eggs hatch 10 to 14 days later and the larvae feed during the autumn and through to the following spring. They continue to feed during the summer and complete their life cycle when they emerge as adults, shedding a brown pupal case on the surface. On to the chafer grub, and there are several species of chafer grub that are found in turf. For the most part, they are not usually present in sufficient numbers to cause serious damage. However, should an area suffer a large infestation, turf grass loss can result. Understanding the pest is important. For instance, grubs have a habit of infesting the same area year after year and are particularly common on light sandy soils. They will feed on the roots and thatch of all turf grasses. Damage first appears as drought stress. The turf will appear off colour, grey green, and will wilt rapidly in the hot sun. Continued feeding results in turf dieback in large irregular patches. Tunnelling by the larvae makes the turf feel spongy underfoot and it may be easily rolled back like a carpet due to the absence of roots. Grub populations themselves may not cause observable turf injury. However, as with the leather jacket, Predatory mammals such as the badger, moles and birds may cause damage in search of an easy meal. The life cycle of the chafer grub varies depending on the species present and local climatic conditions. Adult beetles emerge from their pupal cases and begin to fly in large numbers from late May to June. After mating they return to the soil. The female will lay 15 to 20 eggs in a two to five day period. The eggs are about 15 centimeters deep in the soil and hatch after approximately two weeks. If moisture levels are good, the larvae move upward towards the surface and begin to feed on the grass roots, remaining lower in drier conditions. Larvae continue to feed until late September when they move deeper into the soil to overwinter. Pupation takes place the following spring, although some species feed below ground for two to three years. Sport NEM is applied as a drench with the addition of Nemaflow, a specifically designed carrier to aid the movement of insect, parasitic or entomopathogenic nematodes into the soil profile to the target pest. It is important to use a carrier as nematodes are very small and can get stranded in water droplets reducing their ability to spread out and establish. The nematodes move through the moist soil to find the crane fly or chafer grub larvae. Once a nematode has found and penetrated a pest larvae through a body opening, it begins its destructive work. In order to convert the larvae into food, the nematode releases symbiotic bacteria. These bacteria spread throughout the larvae multiplying rapidly while feeding on the host tissue and converting it into a form easily taken up by the nematodes. 
The infected larvae die within a few days, but the nematodes continue to multiply and develop in the host. As soon as the nematodes are in the infectious third stage, they leave the host and start searching for new targets. The nematode populations will slowly decrease once there are no new hosts present. Sportnem H targets chafer grubs in turf. Sportnem H also controls the pionid fly. Sportnem T is effective against a number of turf pests, especially the larvae of crane fly. For best results, apply both products at the first signs of larvae, rather than retrospectively as young larvae are more susceptible to nematodes. Leather jackets tend to have a more concentrated window when the grubs are susceptible, so only one or two applications of sport nem may be required. Whereas for chafer grub control, two to three applications may be needed as they lay eggs over a longer time period. And of course, for optimum control, don't forget to add Nemaflow.